Hey kids, welcome to lesson nine, if, else, if, and conditional logic, number nine, combining and, and, or, and not. You can stick a not, which is just basically an exclamation point in front of any Boolean expression to invert its results. This opens a door to express the same logical statements, just in different ways. For example, let's say you want to determine if a person based on his or her age is under 21 or over 65 gets in to pay a reduced price for a movie ticket. You may want to express it like below. If your age is less than 12 or greater than 65. So we have our if statement, age is less than 12 or, we have our or right there. The age is greater than 65, you are gonna write this. But you might also figure out a way to determine if a person gets a reduced price ticket by determining if his or her age is between 12 and 65. There we have pretty much the same statement, but with ands and also an equal in there. So age is greater than or equal to 12, and the age is less than or equal to 65. And then taking the inverse of that, so using the not operator, it would work like this. If your age is not between 12 and 65, so if, and this is the inverse, your age is not greater than 12 and less than 65, then you write you qualify for a reduced price. Means that explanation point really is just giving us the inverse of what we're doing. Why use one over the other? Really, it's a personal preference. Use the one that makes the most sense to you, but it should be a clear expression of what you're trying to say. And if you haven't noticed, a lot of coding is like that. We have our do this statement. We've provided you with a starting code that prompts the user to enter a day and their age and store it in the variables. Add an if statement that uses both and and or operators. The app should write time for school if it is a weekday and the user is under 18. Hint, one way to say that it's a weekday is to say that it is not a weekend. That makes sense. Otherwise, if it's a weekday and the user is 18 and older, it should write time to go to work, adult life calls. Otherwise, it should write time to relax for the weekend. We have a warning, logic can be tricky sometimes, you're not kidding. Make sure to test your program with inputs that cover every possibility. Really, there are four basic cases to test for. It is a weekday and the age is under 18. It is a weekday and the age is not under 18. It is not a weekday and the age is under 18. And finally, it is not a weekday and the age is not under 18. I think this is a pretty big clue right here on what we have to do. Well, let's go ahead and look at our code and try this out. We have a variable day here, which is a prompt. So we'll have a box that pops up and says, enter the day of the week. We have another variable age, which is another prompt box that says, enter your age. We're going to write in the screen here, day is, we have a string plus day the variable, write age is plus age the variable. So those will be displayed over here. Next, we have a write your code below. So this is where we're gonna do all of our fun ad. I know the first thing we're gonna need is some if, else, and else if statements. I'm gonna go over to my control. I'm gonna switch over to blocks because it is so much easier just to move this over here and hit the plus sign to add some out. Now I want three else if statements. So I'm gonna add a third here. And ultimately, I'm gonna get rid of this else as soon as I switch it over to text. So I'm gonna go over to text now. Don't need any of this else here, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. To me, the best way to attack this is really to start commenting and work backwards from there. Really, it's best to use the comments up here. So the first one I'm gonna work with is, it's not the weekend and the user is 18 or under. So that's our first statement there. So I'm just gonna simply come over here and then copy and paste this into my comments. So that is just saying it's not the weekend and the user is old. Second one here I'm gonna do, it's not the weekend and the user is 18 or older. So that's actually this one right here. Our previous one, I actually got these flip-flopped. This should be, and the age is under 18. And the second one, the age is not under 18. 
Moving on to our third here. The third condition I want is it's the weekend and the user is under 18. So that's my first one. Just gonna copy and paste this into my comments. And finally, our last one, which is going to be, it's the weekend and the user is 18 or older. So that is that one right there. This is going to help me guide everything else I need to do. Next thing I can do, even before I get into my statements, is I could start writing stuff based off of this. So I'm just gonna type write, and in here, it's gonna be, it's time for school, because it's not the weekend and the user is under 18. So time for school. Don't forget your semicolon. Next one here, we're gonna come down, we're going to write again. These are gonna be in quotes. The second one, the it is not the weekend and the user is 18 or older. So that's a Monday through Friday or 18 or above. That is unfortunately adult life. Time to go to work. And our third one, we're going to write parentheses and quotes. This one is if it is a weekday and the age is under 18. Time to relax for the weekend. Finally, our last one. So right, we have some quotation marks. And this one is, it's the weekend and the user is 18 or older. It is still time to relax for the weekend. And we got our semicolons there. All this leaves us now is to fill in our conditions for our if or else if statements. But it should be pretty easy because we already know what we're trying to do here. So for example, the first one, we wanna do an inverse because it's gonna be time for school. So we really wanna say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. The other way we could say it is, it's not Saturday or Sunday. So how do I put that out? Well, I'm gonna delete what's in here. I'm gonna use my exclamation point to do my inverse. And then I'm just gonna set my one variable equal to Saturday. We have to use an or statement here. So our or statement, remember, we wanna be in the parentheses here. The day is going to be equal to Sunday. That's our first condition. We want another condition though. So we want and, we wanna make sure this one happens. And this is for my variable age. We want this one to be less than 18 because this is the person going to school. So they're gonna be under 18. That is how it should look for my first one. Let's go ahead and tackle the rest of them. The second one, it is not a weekday and the age is not under 18. This is gonna be time to go to work, essentially, the same thing. So this is gonna be a little longer. So I'm gonna do a parentheses, a quotation, and another parentheses here. Why are we doing that? Well, we need to go to our day again is going to be equal to Saturday. And then we're gonna add our little vertical lines or our or here. The day is going to be equal to Sunday. And on this one, the age is going to be greater than or equal to 18. Why do we use a couple extra there? Well, this is an if else statement, so we just have an extra little parentheses there. Just for the inverse though. Let's go down to our third one. This one, it's the weekend and the user is under 18. This we can just look for Saturday or Sunday, so we're not looking through Monday through Friday, so we don't have to use an inverse anymore. This one, we can just simply do day equal to Saturday 
Make sure you're spelling Saturday and Sunday correct for all of these. Paste my two lines there. Day is also going to be equal to Sunday. On this, we also have to do our and condition. This one is under 18, so it's going to be and and. Age is less than 18. So I'm just going to drag that over there. 18. Let's make this look uniform to the other ones. Right there. Three down, one more to go here. Oh, don't forget to close your statement. Last one here, same thing. We are looking is the day equal to Saturday or the day is equal to Sunday. We want the age though on this one, age is going to be equal to 18. So if it's not under 18, the age is gonna be greater than or equal to 18. Then we're gonna write time to relax for the weekend. Whew, that was a lot of typing. I am really thankful I put these comments in here because it really guided me along as I did this problem. But we don't know if we're right yet. We still have to test it out. When we hit run, let's do an easy one here. So let's do Saturday and 17. This should say, time to relax for the weekend. Reset run. Let's do Saturday again. This time, let's do 22. Time to relax for the weekend, so that's pretty good. Let's try the harder ones. Let's say Monday and 20, oops. Monday and the age of 22, should say time to go to work. It does. Let's do one more, a Tuesday and 17. Time for school. Looks like our code is working as we intended it to. Looking back up here, we added an if statement that uses both and and or operators. Our code does say time for school, or it's the weekend, time to go to work, or time to relax for the weekend. Looks pretty good. And we used our four basic cases here to build our code. Think everything's working right. We've fulfilled all the requirements code.org wants from us. Let's go ahead and finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I know this is a very, very confusing unit, but I know you did great. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson.